Okay. This one should be a little better. Hopefully. Sometimes I do come back to this game after like a day or two of not playing it, and it's like all of my skill in it is gone. But I try to remind myself that people who get really, really into speedrunning do a whole bunch of runs, because that way you can have a bunch of bad runs um, and just post the, post the good ones. Ooh, right. Problem is that this there is quite a bit of RNG in this, in terms of like how well is the um, all right how well like how quickly are the fruit gonna show up? Well, that was weird. Usually those guys despawn when they're off screen. I've never seen that one happen. There we go. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Like, it depends. Like, sometimes... Sometimes it's not as bad as other times, I guess. Like, there's different levels of where it's like, okay, a little RNG is okay, and then there's parts where it's like, okay, this is just so deeply outside of my control that it's like hardly a competition so much as a raffle. Oh, no, this dang room. Oh. Yeah, last time I practiced this level, I literally spent, like, I did redid this room like a hundred times because it's actually, it's like one of the few places in the game where it's actually kind of, oof, easier to not have the speed up turned on because if you just let it bounce you at the speed that it wants to automatically, then it like spaces out your jumps more at, like how you would like it to be. I really, I think there's a, okay, first of all, there are so many games on speedrun.com that have very few runs. If you go under games on speedrun.com, um, and then you sort by any system that you choose, or you can do all. You don't necessarily have to do sorted by a system, but... Um, and then you can have it sort by, like, fewest players, fewest runs, uh, and just kind of scroll through, because there's usually some, especially... And with older games, you can find an emulator. But double-check, because some older games, they're like, we don't allow emulators. And I'm like, okay, but, like, how much... You want me to go buy this? Luckily, nobody made that rule for Moomin, which is good since it's considered one of the, like, rarest Game Boy Color games, because there's so few of them. <laughs> um, dang it. Um, but also, sometimes it says there's no runs, but uh, it just means there's no, like, main run. Like, usually there's, like, one main topic. So any race game that you see on there if you see a racing game it's a lie it's not really it doesn't really lack any speed runs there's always runs on at least a few tracks of every racing game although there will probably be some empties uh here and there so but yeah mo pretty much even like there's like a shrek racing game for the game boy color and it says zero runs but it actually does oh have a uh have a few levels of or a few Tracks run. There it is. I'm telling you though, it's it's fun. You got to pick a game that you want. I said, like I said, I go with games that are charming because it's like, what kind of game can I just play? over and over again and like am i what kind of game am i going to be able to have fun with even when i do very poorly there's something about this game in particular that i've had a hard time replicating with other games but there are some that i am definitely probably going to attempt running um some that i'm like working on what and whatnot but this is this is my main focus for sure 
But, um, like, there's just something about it where, like, I play it and I want to be good at it, even though it's not necessarily the best designed game you ever saw. There's just something really charming about it. Um, but, I mean, that's the thing, is that, but that's going to be different for everyone. Like, I like, I've, when I've been looking for games now, oh, that's just rude. As I've been looking for newer games to run, like, I try to focus on, like, um, I, I, I have tried to find some that have more of a community already present, because I don't want to get into ones where, like, they're down to the millisecond and they've been doing this run for, like, five years. Um... That's, that's true, too. You can just pick a game that you love. like. But uh, really, it's just... Like, identify what you want out of a game that you speedrun, you know? Like, so yeah, like, I want one that has... Uh, this one's was cool because it's like, oh, well, nobody's really run it. Um, and, like, it's got this charm that I really enjoy. But I've been, like, trying out, downloading and trying out Game Boy... Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, SNES, NES... Um, Game Boy Advanced uh, ROMs for the past couple weeks now and just trying out games and seeing if any of them interest me enough to speedrun. Um, and I found a few, but yeah, I, I, it was, I, I think it was kind of helpful to do that because I started to, to get an idea of what I was looking for by what I knew that I wasn't. Um, and so I've also got, since... Uh, since starting Movement, I've also joined some other communities that were a little more uh, filled up. Yeah, like, you, Mario, Pokemon, it's all, like, they're all pretty saturated. Um, which isn't necessarily bad. Like, that's cool. But it can be, it's definitely not, like, an easy place to start, you know? Um... Whereas, like, excuse me. I need to just double check that I have, okay, I have speed. This is my favorite boss and also my least favorite in the whole game, and that's because of this. I'm gonna get quiet for a moment because... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. If there's a... So, if there's a game that doesn't have a page, um, then you have to have an account for seven days in order to request it. You have to provide a video of you playing the entire game. Um, and... There are some other rules about, like, what it can be and cannot be and whatnot. Um, but it's, a. Uh, but you also have to, if you add a game, you have to be the, the first moderator on it, which means, I don't know exactly what you have to do. There's a, there's a page on, like, what the rules and expectations are if you're going to be a mod are. Um, but you have to approve every run, which is, like... And it's definitely a task. Oof. Yeah, that, um... What's it called? The alternative is if there is a game in a series and... So series have their own page. And if there's a game in a series that doesn't have, that isn't up there, then you can ask the moderators of the series to add it. 
Um, and then they can hypothetically moderate it, and they don't have to supply a full run or anything. If you become a series moderator, you can kind of just add games from the series as much as you want. It's kind of a lot of power, but, you know. Um, so, like, there's some Monster Rancher games that are not on there um, that I am, like, hardcore probably going to try uh, to get uh, added so that I can attempt them. Oh. Um, yeah, RPGs are long, um, so that's definitely tough, um, but, I mean, people do them, um, so it's, I guess it's hypothetically possible, so I guess it might be good to, like, check and see, like, you definitely have to do a little research, I think, to do a good speed run. It's tough. Like, not just a good one, but one where you don't end up spending more time on it than you might even need to. Because there might be some resources and stuff out there that you don't even realize. Um, so every time I miss a, a music note, oh, I take one damage. And every time I get one, she takes one damage. Okay, okay. Hello, Eric. Yes, I am still going. Um... Got that. Got that. So these, these music notes go in a 16-note pattern. Um, that I mostly have down, but it still gets me sometimes. There it is. Twelve minutes, twenty-one seconds. Did that beat my? What did I have last time? Yeah, my last one was thirteen minutes, three seconds. Look at that. That is a new record on that level. Good timing, Eric. You got to see me beat a level.